Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful summer earrings. As I promised in one of my previous videos when I was making this bracelet, I made a match to it to, to form a beautiful set. And this match is exactly the same pattern as these spring colorful earrings. So, if you change colors, this is what I have. You have a classic view or you could have a beautiful spring summer view. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me with this. If you have any questions, ask me down there. I will answer to all of you. You could also check my new merch store where you could find mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, tanks, phone covers, pillows and so many other stuff. And uh, the designs are made especially from me for you. And you could find links down there in the description and at the eye icon. And by buying stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. If you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, you could share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what you're going to need for this video are three colors of 11 ohm seed beads, ear wires, scissors, size 10 beading needle, and here I'm using Nemo beading thread that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. And now I will start by putting about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start by taking 12 of these beautiful red beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I'm going to make a knot by making a loop and going twice or three times through this and this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. Okay, and then I will go through some beads in this direction. Now I have a circle of beads, okay, and I'm going to take two of these red beads and I'm going through these two beads. You see what I have? I have something like a loop between those four beads and this is called ladder stitch or, or square stitch. Okay, then I'm going through the next two beads. Taking two and I will go back to the next two beads. Okay, this is what I have. Then I'm going through the next two beads. Okay, I'm taking two beads. If you want your work to be more firm, you could use monofilament instead of beading thread. It's up to you. Okay, then I will repeat this three more times. Okay guys, and here in my last step there was my knot and it was more difficult to go through those beads so I used my pliers to do this. Okay, so now what I want to do is flip my work this way and I will go through this red bead. Okay, like that. And I'm going to take one green bead. 
and I'm going through the following red bead. Okay, and in my next step, I'm going to take a yellow and I'm going through the following red one. Then I will take green again, go through the red, a yellow, green, yellow, green, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, so now this is what I have. And what I'm going to do next is go to this green one and I'm going to take three more green beads just like that and I'm going back in circle through this green bead okay I'm fixing my work here then I want to exit out of this yellow bead and here I need to add two red beads going back through the yellow uh, and through the following red one okay and I'm exiting out of my next green bead three greens going back in circle go through the red and through the yellow and then I need two red beads go here and exit out of the green one okay then three greens exit out of the yellow two reds Three green beads two reds exit out of the green one and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is go through this red one. Then what I would like to do is flip my work this way. You know it's easier for me to work in this direction. And now I'm going to take just one red bead. Go through the other red and through the green one. And pull. Then through the following two reds and through the next, uh, two greens, sorry, and through the next red one. Take one, go here, ok, 
okay and in this way I'm making a new thread pad that makes my work stay beautifully connected okay Okay, and at this stage I will cut my tail thread because it will be on my way all the time. Okay guys, now you see what I have. I have this middle element that I used for the bracelet but in different colors. And now what I'm going to do is exit here through this green one. And I'm going to take nine yellow beads. Okay, I have my nine here. And as I'm exiting from this green bead, I'm going through the other green. Okay. Then I will take nine more. And I'm going to the other green bead. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I'm adding my last nine beads from this row. And in my next step, I'm going through five beads. Okay. And in this way, I'm here in the, the middle bead. Here I have four and four, and this is my middle bead, okay? And here I'm going to take two red beads and go back in circle through this yellow bead. Just like that. Then I will go through my next yellow. Take one green bead. Go back to the green and to the following yellow. Okay. This is what I have. And I will take one green. Go back again and go to the following. Okay. One more green. Go back to this one. And here. Okay. And now what I do is that I go to my next green bead. And through the following yellow, so I'm skipping them, and after I skip them, then I take one green bead and add, add it here. Okay, now I have this going through the following yellow. and take one green bead so i'm adding green beads one by one but when i come up to to this part here i'm skipping these three beads so um, i'm adding bead only one bead above those three beads okay so i will continue up to here and i will show you one more time how i'm making this part and i'm up to this part again and i'm adding one bead here i'm going out of this last yellow uh, that is um, next to this tree here at the angle and then what i do is that i 
skip those three bits here this one this one and this one I go out after this yellow and then I take one green and go here okay then I'm going through the following and I'm adding one more the same way I showed you so many times before okay so the only difficult part is here but you could always rewind the video and see how I did it here and how I did it here and you will be able to make it okay and now I'm going to continue until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I went all the way around and now I'm up to here where I will add my last bead okay just like that and here in my last step I won't add any more beads I will just connect my first bead with my last one like that and then I will continue here through those beads and I want to reach here the center where I want to add my clasp sorry not my clasp but my ear wire okay I'm taking my ear wire I'm taking one C bead okay going through the ear wire okay then I'm taking one more C bead and I'm skipping one of my green beads and going through the other one okay and here is how I attach my ear wire then I want to go several times around this joint reinforcing it sometimes I need to use my pliers to do this I think I could do this without the pliers but it's more comfortable okay And do this as many times as you want and as many times as it's possible and then what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread okay so here I'm choosing a place going under a thread bridge making a loop and going once and going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and what I want to do is go through my following bit I could repeat making more and more knots and when I'm ready I will cut my thread and my beautiful summer earrings are ready okay guys and now my summer earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and it's a good idea to do this because I'm making sets I make earrings matching 
bracelets that I have already done. So in this way you could combine them and make beautiful presents for your friends or for yourself. And uh, another thing you could do is like, share and comment and you don't know how much you helped me with this. And if you have any questions, ask them down there, I will answer to all of them. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. And you could also check my merch store where you could find t-shirts, tanks, hoodies, mugs, phone covers, pillows and so many other stuff. And uh, the designs are made especially from me for you. And they are also a great present for your breeding friends or for yourself. You could find links down there in description and at the icon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.